Hey everybody, it's Debbie Meehan with Washington Fine Properties and I'm here at my own barn today to give you an answer to that question that I always get asked, how much does it cost? So this week we are talking about barns and horse stables. So behind me is my own stable. It is a pole barn construction, which is probably the most common type of barn construction when we're talking about you know, what we typically see in our area. So uh, we have metal siding on this and a metal roof. Um, it is, that is also pretty common because we don't have to worry about as much upkeep. Now you can do wood siding. So when people ask me, how much does it cost to build a barn? It's a pretty impossible question to answer because there's so many variables. So when we start with something like this, we can kind of build on and it really depends on how many of the options you want to add on. So inside the barn, I can show you a little bit about how pole barns are constructed. Most of them are on a 12 foot grid. So this center aisle is 12 foot wide. All the stalls are 12 foot by 12 foot. We also put in a few upgrades. Obviously this concrete aisle was an upgrade, so we needed to have a subcontractor come in to do the concrete. We also had subcontractors for plumbing and for electrical. So coordinating all of those, if you're gonna subcontract it out yourself, then you can save some money. But most barn builders will develop a complete package price for you and take care of all the details. It really depends on how much you as the consumer want to put in. To put up a shell, like this barn here is a five stall barn with a tack room, a feed room, and a wash stall. I could have sacrificed one of those 12 by 12 spots and gotten another stall in here, but so this barn is 36 feet wide and one, two, three, four times 12, 48 foot long. And so for a barn this size, to put up the actual shell is probably going to be in the range of $100,000 to $150,000. And then depending on what kinds of upgrades you want to put in it, the price can go up or down from there. One of the things we did to save money is that we stained the wood ourselves. So um, that was a thing. You can put in fancier stall fronts. All of these stalls are all kits and you can buy fancy kits or you can buy more basic kits and where you want to save money is really up to you. I would not suggest trying to do any of like the concrete, electrical or plumbing yourself unless you really know what you're doing. We were happy to pay professionals to do that for us. That cost will probably add another, depending on how much you want to do. I mean, we needed another hot water heater. If you have a bathroom in your barn, that can change the price tremendously because if you don't have a drain field to already connect it to and you have to put in one of your own that can be quite pricey. Uh, we have a separate well for our barn it's separate from our house so putting in the well for us was another expense but well worth it because we have a lot of space between our house and our barn so that logistically it made a lot more sense for it to have its own water source. So I'm in my hayloft and one of the things we did to save money when building our barn was we only put the hayloft in for half of the barn. One of the disadvantages is that we couldn't easily throw hay into all of the stalls so that is kind of a bummer <laughs> but I think it would have been a big big expense to bring that loft all the way to the end of the barn. And then I would have lost all of this vaulted ceiling up here and part of the light and ventilation that the barn currently has. So it's really a give and take. Another way that you can save money when building a pole barn is that you can opt for wood siding, maybe like a board and batten type of style. The drawback to that is that it does require a lot of maintenance. You're gonna have to stain or paint it all the time we opted for the metal because even though it was more expensive, this is a powder coated uh, metal and we don't have to do anything to it. It just will stay this way. So it was one way that we decided that we did want to upgrade. In addition to the center aisle design, which is pretty common, as I said, there's also a type of barn that you can get that's really um, affordable and that's a shed row barn. 
And a lot of times these are pre-made and can be delivered to you, delivered to your site, just completely put together and they just unload it. Um, you know, people get run-in sheds this way, but you can also get like four or six stalls completely done, delivered to your site. You have some site preparation to do, making sure you have a level area, but the benefit is that it's very quick, it's delivered and you can start using it. And because it's all pre-made, there is a cost savings that gets um, sent on to you. So I think the shed row barn is an excellent way to have an affordable barn um, and stay within your budget. The last barn style I'm going to talk about is a modular barn. And these are the type of barns that are put together in like metal frames and panels. And again, the stall fronts and stall kits can be, you know, a little bit more on the affordable side, especially if you just do like the metal gates or the paneled stall fronts. So that is another affordable way to get a center aisle and um, or even a shed row barn. They have many different designs that you can use. You can have great big front porches. You can have um, large overhangs and they've created it in a way that makes it more affordable for the consumer. So one of these options I'm sure will fit into your budget. So when you ask me how much does it cost to build a barn, it really depends on you.